Hamas had actually spoke on this. The Islamic resistance movement Hamas welcomes the UN Security Council call today for immediate ceasefire, and we stress the necessity, the necessities. So, excuse me, I got a speech about it. Of reaching a permanent ceasefire that leads to a withdrawal of all Zionist forces from the Gaza Strip and return of the displaced to the homes uh, uh, from which they left. So this is something, this is like, get the fuck out of here. Y'all have no reason to still be over here. And you, and you know what's so crazy to me? Hamas isn't even that big of a group. I mean, some Hamas is a smaller group than the Bloods and the Crips in America. They can't be that hard to fucking kill. They can't be, those tunnels not that damn deep to where you can't kill 20,000 of them, but 100,000 fucking civilians are dead and gone. You telling me Hamas is that good at fucking hide and seek? In the context of the in the context of the test of the resol of the resol of the resolution, we uh, <coughs> we empathize the importance of the freedom move of the movement of the Palestinian citizens and the excess of all humanitarian needs uh, <coughs> to all res uh, residents and all areas of Ganja Strip, including heavy equipment. You know what I'm saying? Like, dog, you want to know what's so crazy about this? They have fucking drones. It's like a drone that flies over Gaza and it plays this fucking sound. I forgot what the people of Palestine call it, but it, it plays this sound that just fucks with you, man. And they they have all of this, they have billions of dollars coming from coming from uh, uh coming from the United States. They have billions of dollars in weapons, and their targets are just still out here giving out full fucking statements. Like, you have to remember, like I said, this group isn't as big as a gang in America. I've probably been in a gang that had more people in it than fucking Hamas. If the United States wanted to come and kill off that gang, they would. They would find their leaders. They will find the foot soldiers. They will find the people that's funding us, and we will be gone. But how is it that Hamas is still alive and well? These people was fucking crazy. Hold on, let me. Uh, it was one more thing. Do, 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 do. Marjorie Kimberly, she pointed out the ceasefire is only for two weeks. The ICJ ordered Israel to stop killing people two months ago. So what happens when these two weeks are over? Do they find another ceasefire solution? Do they go back to the international courts? What's going to happen? I don't know, but all I know is, all I know is, they're going to break the ceasefire. They're going to, uh, they're not going to abide by these laws. Why would they? This nigga ugly as fuck. I'm going to go to Washington, D.C. <laughs> oh, my God, <laughs> Oh my God, bro! <laughs> I can't wait to see that man. I'm gonna make fun of them fucking legs, bro. I swear. <clears throat> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Casey, of course I'm. I'm gonna be safe. Safe is my middle name. You know they call me Rome. I'm wholly safe, but the for no reason. <laughs> There's more popo. And NYPD than Hamas. Duh, this is what I'm saying. Like, there, there is no way. <laughs> there is no way Hamas is not destroyed. Now, I, uh, uh, for one, I do appreciate Hamas being uh, uh, the resistance, but to see her act like they're not funded by Israel, I would be a lie. They are funded by Israel. They are funded, uh, funded by uh, uh, BB uh, uh, and other other factions. Yes, that is true. And nobody ever has ever heard that fact, not even Israel themselves. And this is one of the reasons it's like a, Hamas is basically like that tunnel painted on that brick wall in the Looney Tunes, right? You think it's a tunnel, you think it's a road, but it's really nothing there. It's really nothing there because 
there's no way you have more civilian casualties than you have people that's uh, uh, militant against your army, your military. Because we have to remember, this isn't an army. They are not a military. They are not an air force. They are a gang of people with guns. They don't, they, I'm pretty sure they don't even have fucking uniforms for everybody. That's how poor they are. That's how, that's how far back they are. We know motherfucking cartels with more power than Hamas. And you telling me Hamas is still roaming around Palestine? Have you guys seen Palestine lately? Have you have you seen the buildings that is crushed? Have you seen the, the, uh, the mosque that is burnt and bombed the fuck up? Where are they hiding? And how can you not get them? It's like some Tom and Jerry type shit here, man. I got to keep him alive because if I kill him, the show stops. Cartels have more money than Mexico government. Yes. But if they telling me Hamas is the greatest evil ever and blah, blah, this and that. Though I don't see it happening, bro. Like I can drop off some Crips and Bloods in Palestine and we probably, we probably kill Hamas faster than what Israel is doing. It just don't make any sense to me. And if Hamas was the target, why is so many children dead? Why are so many women dead? Why are so many families displaced? And I and, and Israel is in for some shit. See, they, this is they they have the same mindset as uh American soldiers who went over there in the Middle East before. They they terrorize people in their homes, they terrorize civilians, they rape women and children. And they think that's that's war. They think that's war. But when somebody else is aiming a gun at them, now they are victims. We have Israel posting active duty military men and women in their in their regular clothes and their regular attire, saying they are a victim of Hamas. They got kidnapped by Hamas. But when you look them up. They are active duty military. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, no. When a rabbit got the gun, it ain't that motherfucking fun no more, right? When you, when you can't just go in and rape and kill whatever the fuck you want, it ain't that fun no more, right? Now you a fucking victim. You ain't no motherfucking victim. You ain't no motherfucking victim. You soft. And you thought you can go in there and do whatever the fuck you want it. But when a real army step up, when a real military step up, when somebody with a uh, 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 Navy force step up, somebody like the Houthis, I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for saying that, somebody like Yemen step up, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. somebody with actual training, somebody who knows what it's like dodging these fucking drones and coming up with tactics to stay alive, now, oh, we playing victim out here. After you didn't just killed a hundred thousand motherfuckers, flattened every motherfucking thing that you could, raped everything that you could, and now you play victim. Hell no. I have no, I have no empathy. I have no empathy, no sympathy for any of you fucking Israel supporters. And I know I have people, we have people in Israel that support RBN. I can't say your name because of course you will be killed. But I talked to them. I gave him my email and I gave him my phone number. I talked to him. I told him, like, look, it's not you that I hate individually. I'm not about to sit here and, like, I hate all Israelis. That's impossible. I don't fucking know you on a personal level. I don't know if you uh, 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 condone or if you love what your fucking, uh, uh, what your government is doing. I don't know until you speak up. So how do you feel, right? See, if we never spoke up, People around the world would, would believe that we uh, care, that we care, that we don't care about, you know, uh, the minorities being the uh, majority of the prison population. They they think that we wouldn't care about our government having a hand in Congo and the slave trades. They think they they wouldn't think that we would care about what happened after Gaddafi had got assassinated if we didn't speak up. So speak on that shit. How do you feel? And if you feel like your government is going to kill you, so be it. 
because our government is going to kill all of us, whether we know it or not, whether we feel it or not, the government is killing you. They're killing you with nature. Yes, all those male trees that's in your fucking area, uh, giving you all that pollen. Yes, that is by design. The government is killing you one way or the other. So die for something. Stand up and die for something. Brother Aaron did it. They said that his name wouldn't be remembered. They said he wouldn't be remembered as a martyr. They said he wouldn't be remembered as somebody who spoke up. But look around the world. Shit, that's, say, that, that's a totally different story. That is a totally different story. So speak up. Your life is already taken away from you. I don't know what the fuck you guys are scared of. Have you guys got fucking diabetes? Have you guys got, some of you guys got cancer. Some of you guys have mental illnesses that your government would never even think about taking care of. So what the fuck you got to lose? What the fuck you got to lose? A house? A good job? <laughs> I'm playing, y'all. I know some of y'all got good jobs. I'm just yanking your chain. <laughs>